Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're doing Act 8, uh, Chapter 2, and we're on quest number 3. Here's the team that I'm going in with. The skill champions that you see are for the path, and the cosmic champions are for the boss, okay? Uh, and we've got a plan for that boss, and this was actually really fun. I actually enjoyed this, um, the path, as well as the boss. We got through it pretty quickly, okay? So the path that I found the easiest is the Crimson Rage path, all right? And we're going to take a look at the nodes in a moment here. One thing that you can usually tell, see how it just had a little, some units? Usually that's going to be the easy path. They're not going to give you a whole lot. All right. So here, same globals as always. All right. And look at this. They're going to get an unstoppable for four seconds every eight seconds, unless they have a bleed on them. Okay. They're also going to go unblockable, but it doesn't last very long. All right. And uh, you don't have to worry about the boost buff as long as they're bleeding. And they have a bleed vulnerability. So you're going to do a lot more damage. You do not, as you see from my cold, dead hands, you do not want to go in here with a nullify, stagger, fate seal, anything like that. Um, I believe KT1 mentioned, I watched him earlier, uh, that uh, neutralize still works. Now, my MVP for this path is Nick Fury. Hands down. I am currently running the ouchie masteries. You know what those are, recoil and all that. And I also have uh, maxed out deep wounds, which helps a ton. I recommend if you don't have deep wounds maxed out, max it out before this path. Now you saw I was having a little bit of trouble with this guy because he was not one to fire his special, backing me up in the corner, and I'm having to watch a few things. This is the first fight, so I'm not used to the path yet and dealing with these nodes. All right, so here we go. Boom, boom, bam. And he's stunned, bleeding, woo, and he's dead. That's it, done. You're done, son. I really like Nick Fury. Nick Fury is probably my favorite skill champion. Um, he may be my first rank five skill champion. Um, but in any case, this path is made for him. Now, you saw how much damage we did. That bleed vulnerability plus the recoil, I believe, boosts his damage even further, but He's gonna be doing a lot of damage regardless. Okay, just look at this. That's a lot of damage. That bleed vulnerability is crazy good. Okay, um, so all you have to really deal with is the unblockable. And dealing with a uh, yellow jacket, if you don't know already, like right there, don't do five hit combos when he is near his special one unless you want to just hit you know get it into the block i have evaded it close up before but it was luck i think i've done it twice what you want to do is when you know they're getting close to the special one do like a four hit dash back so that you can evade that special one but as you saw we had no problem now i already knew i was going to have some issues with this sorcerer supreme because I do not know how to evade her special one. And that's one that she's going to get off it, okay? So my goal here was to just go hard. That's it. She doesn't gain a, a lot of power. But look at her health just melting away, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. And I knew the unblockable was going to go. But check this out, okay? It lasted long enough. And you're going to see in a minute the uh, trouble. No bleeds on her right now, and she's unblockable. I knew that was going to happen, okay? But that's fine, uh, because like I said, I'm just going hard. I don't care. We're still on Nick Fury's first life, 
and she's done. So she got me. She got me one time, but I got her a whole lot of times. And he's still on his first life. Now, if I wanted to, I could heal up my Nick Fury. And that would just give me a lot more time and all that good stuff. But I decided not to do that because if I do have the uh, real Nick Fury come out, he's going to do even more damage. Okay. So against this Odin, I said, you know what? Let me show you guys a little bit of variety. Mole Man can do this path really good. That always messes me up. For some reason, the first time I try to parry sometimes just doesn't work. And I've noticed that, like, you you could tell with Mo Man that he hit into the block. And it seems like my timing was off, but I don't believe it is. That happens a lot too often to be a coincidence. Okay? So, I got hit there. But now we've got the bleeds on him. We're in frenzy. And he is just bleeding out. Okay? He is bleeding out. There's the unblockable. Just got to watch for that. All right. And I wasn't really paying attention. I could have kept his frenzy up, but I got too happy. Okay. So you can see the frenzy going down. Instead of doing that five hit combo, I should have done some heavy attacks. So now I don't have any frenzy. Okay. And I got one bleed on him. I'm like, okay, well... I gotta remember this. All right, now he's unstoppable because uh, the bleeds fell off. All because of me, my fault. So built up to a special three, fire that off. I'll get back my frenzy and we can finish this fight off. Uh, Mo Man is awesome for this path. And again, deep wounds, maxed out deep wounds is crazy good. Okay, you want that. Them, them bleeds will last a long time. They'll also do a lot of damage. And you won't have to deal with that unstoppable. And Odin is down. All right. So he's also good. Pretty much any bleeders are going to be really good for this path. Okay. So bring out your bleed champs. Um... My MVP, definitely Nick Fury. And the reason that I went in here with Nick Fury is I had a feeling, because I hate long shot, that I was going to get hit. I was going to get hit with his special two. I just know that. Okay. And so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to, you know, accept that. It's going to happen. He's going to do this, dance around, you know. And one of these times, I'm going to get hit. See, look at this. And he, you know, he only attacked me when, the, uh, when he had unblockable. I got you. I understand. But Nick Fury got something for you, too. He got a whole second life. Look at that. Bam. First life destroyed. And then he hit me right when he got that unblockable. See what I mean? But that's okay, because now you got the real Nick Fury out. Uh-oh. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. I'm just trying to get him down. I'm like, no, no special three, no special three. Hit into a block, do as much damage. What? He didn't do his special three. Yeah, I meant to do that. It was all planned, all part of the plan. No luck there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, glad we got him down. All planned out. No luck involved there. So the next up is gonna be this uh, Human Torch. And I often use Nick Fury against Human Torch anyway. But since my Nick Fury is a little under the weather, I said, you know, you can just get a little bit of a break. And we're gonna do Hit Monkey. So we're gonna do a medium light, back off, medium light, get rid of all of that good stuff. And then now we just gotta do some good work, right? Should be easy. Look at this. All right, easy. Now y'all saw that, right? Bam. I forgot. The bleed fell off and he went unstoppable. All right, no problem. No problem. Boom, we got another bleed on him. All right, we good. We doing good. Got a nice little intercept, putting some more bleeds. All of a sudden I couldn't move. 
I want y'all to go back and look and see that I dashed and then stopped. Y'all saw me dash back earlier. This time I dashed, dashed, and he just stopped. So go back and look. And then bam, I'm not able to move. It's dashing some and then stopping. I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. That's how you want to do it. Um, we've got input issues. I can't wait. Maybe it's been a while now with these input issues, but I'm hoping one day, one day I have a dream that one day these input issues are going to be fixed. All right. Now here's the plan. We're going to go after that Ronin. Okay. I've already checked out the nodes and we bring it in Hercules, but don't worry. We're not going to use him first. That's why we brought in Hulkling. All right. So I like Hulkling. I like Hulkling a lot. And we're going to start off with him. Now you're going to see why. Now Ronan, remember, he does a lot more damage the more buffs you have. So you got to be careful. All right. Cosmic Avalanche or Avalanche. <laughs> um, you've got more damage on your special attack. Okay. Rising Sun, you're going to get Fury buffs. Now you got to watch for this because you're going to gain Fury and you need to do heavy attacks to remove them. If you don't, you're going to take DJ and you're going to see that happen to me. They have a chance to auto block, but as long as you have enough buffs on your uh, attacker, which Hulkling does, you don't have to worry about auto blocks. So you just need a lot of buffs. So I brought in Odin for Hercules, but Hulkling gets buffs like crazy, but you don't want Ronin to hit you. So here I'm just doing Hulkling fangs. Look at this. And I always like to look up and see, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm doing a good bit of damage already. Okay, this can work. And then look at my health. Guess what I forgot? The heavy attack. There we go. Got rid of him. And you have to do a heavy. Even though you're getting DJ like that, you better do a heavy and get rid of that stuff. All right? So, already messed up. All right? But look at the damage. Look at that damage. Okay? Hulkling's a beast. And awesome for this uh, boss. So, you see I did a, a um, heavy attack there. And I'm trying to watch the Furies. When Furies get to 10... You can even do it at nine if you want to play it safe. Do your heavy attack, as you see me do there. But he does so much damage with those Furies. All right? Um, there we go. I wanted to bait that out. Now, I wanted to build up. Got some shape shift charges. Now, watch this. Boom! Into the block. Unblockable. Bam! Look at the damage, y'all. Look at this. I said, yeah! I'm going! I and I forgot, forgot all about the Furies. I got so happy. I was looking at all that damage and I said, yeah, Hulkling got this and forgot just that fast about the Furies. So let that be a cautionary lesson to you. Make sure you play it a little bit slower and do your heavy attacks, manage those Furies or you're gonna die. Now with Hercules, you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, I wasn't going to test it because they've been doing some things with Hercules. Um, or I shouldn't say with Hercules, but they've been doing things that kind of hurt him. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, we used Odin. I got hit, uh, but it didn't hurt. My little, my little baby sister, uh, not so little anymore. Used to always say that. That don't hurt when she was a little girl. But look at this. Now see, I'm at 10 Furies. Look at that. Degen. But guess what? Hercules don't care. Even if I degen me down, I had my immortality. And I believe I would have been okay. But I wasn't confident. Because so many times I'll get immortality and then I'll die. Or something will happen and I don't have immortality. Sneaky. Sneaky kabam. 
They be putting all kind of stuff all over the place that mess with him. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Let me know. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.